It's semi-final time in the B&H Cup. The Panthers have made the short journey up the M1 to test the mettle of the Steelers. It's the first leg of Sheffield against Nottingham, exclusively here on British Eurosport. Yeah, hello once again. We're down to the last four now in this season's B&H Cup. Tonight, the Sheffield Steelers take on the Nottingham Panthers here at the Sheffield Arena. Now, of course, whoever wins this particular semi-final will be back here again on the 9th of December to contest the final. Well, I'm joined on the ice by our commentator for this evening, Richard Beaupre, and of course, injured stealer Dale Craigle. And Dale, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, you're you. one of three injured players out tonight. How's that going to affect the side, do you think? Hopefully not too much. We've uh, had three games here in a row, and uh, we've handily uh, beat the teams. And uh, I think going forward, we're going to have a good game here tonight. And of course, you're on such a hot run at the moment. What, do, what would it mean to the club to reach the final this year? Oh, it's very important. We want this so badly. You know, it's the first championship of the year. It's be a notch on our belt, uh, you know, and we're looking forward to winning the league. And of course, Richard, they're hot, hot favourites tonight, aren't they? They're on such a good winning run, especially here at home. Well, they certainly are. The last 12 times these teams have played together at Sheffield. Sheffield have won all 12. The last time Nottingham, in fact, won in Sheffield was on the 26th of December, 1997. It was in an Express Cup game, and it was a 3-2 win for Nottingham. But more importantly, the recent 3-2 win for Nottingham could have some impact tonight as Nottingham come into this building, having won a 3-2 game at Nottingham after a penalty shootout. And that's the game that snapped Sheffield's 13-game winning streak. There's no secrets between these teams. They know each other very well. They're not far apart. So it all happens on the ice. I'm going to have to call you Stato for now. Thanks a lot, Richard. After your commentary, Chris, and thank you once again, <laughs> Dale. You. Okay, well, the Panthers, they do have quite a pedigree in this competition as well. They've won it three times, in fact, down in 1994, 1996, and 1998. The Steelers, on the other hand, won it just once back in 1995. The current holders are Manchester, but they, of course, are out of the running this year. The other semi-final, which you can see here on British Eurosport tomorrow night, will be between the Newcastle Jesters and the London Knights. Incredibly enough, all four semi-finalists were in the same group in the early stages of the competition, and Sheffield certainly had the upper hand against Nottingham both home and away. But in the semis, as we saw in the quarters, anything can happen. Well, the last five meetings between the sides included those two games in this competition. It shows Sheffield ahead 4-1, to one, but of course that single win for the Panthers was their last meeting in the Seconda Super League. OK, down now to tonight's actions. It's the Steelers against the Panthers here at the Sheffield Arena. Let's catch the best of the action. But first of all, we'll run through the teams with our commentator for tonight, Richard Beaupre. Thanks, Chris. The Sheffield Steelers come here with coach Mike Blaisdell, ex-coach of the Nottingham Panthers, and what a team they have. Mike O'Neill has been so solid in the net. He's played five games for the Sheffield Steelers in this competition. Up front, David Longstaff, watch him. Nine points from eight games. They can do it all. They've got big forwards, tough defensemen. They play the body well, and they're good in the corners. The Nottingham Panthers come here with coach Alex Dampier. Dampier for a number of years, a household name here in Sheffield. Guys to watch on this team, number nine, Stroot. Watch this guy up front, Greg Haddon, a great goal scorer. PC Drew on number 17, all over the ice, great hockey player. And they've had good goaltending from Jordan Willis in the net. The referee Simon Kirkham prepares to start this semi-final battle between the home of Sheffield Steelers and the visiting Nottingham Panthers. And we're off. Nottingham Panthers playing from left to right in the dark colors. The Sheffield Steelers in their home white uniforms. A very verbal crowd already, anxiously waiting for the start of this Hall Halloween game day. And this date has gotten off to a good start already. I said it's Halloween game, and there are a lot of colorful people here in the crowd. Full costumes going all over the stadium. The commentator winding things up as this game got started. Jordan Willis watches from the Nottingham net. 
in the Sheffield net. Mike O'Neill getting the start as Jamie Leach goes back and starts things up for Nottingham. Leach slammed into the boards. The crowd enjoy that. Leach, of course, an ex-Nottingham Panther. I'll have to correct myself already. An ex-Sheffield Steeler. We've got a number of players who have seen action in both shirts. The Nottingham coach, Alex Dampier, was the Sheffield coach at one point. And Mike Blaisdell, the Sheffield coach, was the Nottingham coach. So a lot of guys who know each other very well. There'll be no secrets out here on the ice during this game. Sheffield controlling the play. Short drives it back into the Nottingham zone. It's off a stick and up into the crowd. Kirkham blows the whistle. And the faceoff will be deep in Nottingham territory. Both teams changing up. Will Nottingham be 13 times lucky as we look at Alex Dampier behind the Nottingham bench? Sheffield have won 12 straight games in this building, played between the two teams. Backhander a week when cleared by Willis. The puck comes around the far side and out of the zone. Greg Haddon on the forecheck. Vial going after him. Dennis Vial very tough along the boards. Now Leach has it in the slot. Haddon showing that he's not shy. His helmet's off, but he's right on top of Dennis Vial. The whistle has blown, but Greg Haddon is showing he's more than just an offensive hockey player and a good goal scorer. Going right to work on Dennis Vial, the tough guy for the Sheffield Steelers. You gotta like this guy, Greg Haddon. He's a tough customer. He was hammered into the boards by Vial. As the two players stay tied up together along the boards, they really started having a go at each other. Haddon going in, Vial takes him out. A lot of pushing and shoving along the boards. Graham Garden comes in, he gets knocked down. Jamie Leach. Held on to the puck as the play stopped. Players from both sides getting involved. Steve Carpenter in there for Sheffield, another one of those ex-Nottingham players. There's a Nottingham player down on the ice hurt. That's why we've got a delay. Assistant Captain David Longstaff talking with referee Simon Kirkham as Dennis Vial makes his way to the penalty box. sitting comfortably in the Nottingham penalty box. Haddon's opponent, the tough guy and captain, Dennis Vial, number 18, sitting in the penalty box for Sheffield. Carpenter, Carpenter carries it over the blue line. Shot, Willis makes a save. He was unsure of where the puck was. But able to hold on as the Sheffield players were coming toward him. Steve Carpenter, another one of the ex-Nottingham Panthers in a Sheffield shirt. You probably think I'm making this up, but there are, in fact, seven ex-Nottingham players playing for Sheffield. Metcalf wins the draw nicely. Allison lays it back to McCosh. McCosh directs it through traffic just wide. Graham Gart hustles up his off wing. Allison turns away from him. Puck is thrown in deep. O'Neill lets it go over the net. McCosh along the boards gets as far as Leach, Leach fires it right back in. Garden goes in. Good hustle from Paul Aidy. Aidy is an ex-Nottingham Panther. His pass is to Allison, but it's back out over the blue line. Offside's the call. More action now after, well after the whistle. Both teams were changing, and it's Eric Levine who had the bloody nose earlier coming right back out into the game. Going after the first person he comes to. It happened to be Paul Aidy at the time. Levine with both nostrils plugged up right now with white cotton. Trust me, that's not a Halloween impersonation. He did, in fact, have a bloody nose. Eric Levine on the Nottingham bench. That's not a Halloween costume. He was bashed earlier and had a bloody nose.
puck deep into Nottingham territory. Good hustle again by Sheffield. They really are forcing the attack. Pass in front, shot, Longstaff got a piece of it but couldn't put it in. Nottingham now on the break, three on two. Weaver back to make it a three on three. Good hit along the board, so by Smith. Smith in his first game back for Sheffield. He'd been nursing a hip injury, throwing his body around. Druen gets it back. Patterson's shot is blocked and Longstaff just slows things down. David Longstaff, nine points from eight Benson and Hedges Cup games. Off to a great start this season. Jeff Sebastian over to Smith. Adam Smith looks for Longstaff. That's off his skate. Sheffield still with a lot of guys up front with Bobbitt just ahead of the play and offside. Vial and Hatt still in the penalty box. We played five minutes and 40 seconds of this first period as Jordan Willis looks on from the Nottingham goal. Jordan Willis has played five games for Nottingham with three goals against average, 91.5 saves percentage. Action tight around Willis's net. Shot in front there for Longstaff. Makash. Makash gets a second chance at it. Shots in the pads of Willis. And again, he struggles to hold on as Sheffield are being very aggressive. Well, speaking of aggressive, no stranger to the penalty box, Mr. Barry Nykar asserting himself after the Sheffield forwards went toward Jordan Willis's net. Nykar there to show that you do not go near the goaltender, but he pays the price. Roughing the call against Barry Nykar as he joins Greg Hatton in the Nottingham penalty box. This will be a five on four opportunity for Sheffield. Hadden and Vial in there for coincidental penalties. Nykar in there now for Nottingham. Sheffield with the first man advantage situation in this game. Burt goes into the boards heavily with Allison. Metcalf controls it behind the net, pass in front. Again, big action in front of Willis. Shot from Allison. The save is made. Metcalf with it on the backhand. Metcalf circling back. Good coverage from Druen. Metcalf gives it up. 80 to Sebastian. Sebastian's pass bounces over Carpenter stick. Allison behind the net. Greg Burke pickpockets him. Can't get it out though. Allison with the putt now. Sets it up. 80 does not get on the end of that as Druen cuts it off. Pushes it into the neutral zone. Druen and Strooch up front for Nottingham. Druen now goes to the bench to get a fresh Panther out to kill the penalty off. Carpenter coming up the left side. Carpenter throws it in deep. Longstaff and Allison up front. Metcalf on the other side has it. Weber's on him. Longstaff to Allison. Pack. Pack causing problems for Allison. Now it's Metcalf again. Ex NHLer Scott Metcalf setting things up for the Sheffield Sealers to Allison. Allison, back to Metcalf, Metcalf spins around, shot, score! The first goal of the game. Six minutes and 58 seconds gone in the first period with the man advantage, Sheffield, on the scoreboard. Metcalf being the setup man working it around with Allison gets a pass back and slams it into the net. Metcalf heads up on the move, lays it off to Allison. Allison controlling the play, back to Metcalf. Quick wrist shot, goal number one for Sheffield. Sheffield one, Nottingham nil. Eight minutes and 33 seconds to play in this first period. Benson and Hedges Cup, semi-final action. Allison right up the middle. He's got a step on the beat. He's pulled down. There'll be a penalty on the play. I've said it two or three times in this period already. Scott Allison and Scott Metcalf have really come to town to play hockey tonight. They're off to a great start. Eric Levine found himself in a no-win situation as Allison had a stride on him. He pulls him down. Hooking is the call going against Eric Levine for Nottingham. Eric Levine in the penalty box for hooking. It'll be the second power play opportunity for Sheffield. They scored in their last attempt. Face off is controlled by Sheffield once again. Giveaway pass, Randall Weber ices the puck for Nottingham. 
Jeff Sebastian goes back for Sheffield. Mike O'Neill touches it, leaves it for Sebastian. Masters circles for Nottingham. Up the left side to Allison. Scott Allison, a great pass ahead. Shot taken by 80, just wide in the net. Nottingham should clear, and they do. Masters fires it down. O'Neill plays the shot, leaves it for Sebastian. Fresh bodies on the ice as Longstaff steps out for Sheffield, hovering down around the Nottingham blue line. Brabant starts it out. Brabant looking for Longstaff. The puck bounces over his stick. Goaltender out of his net. Willis touches it, gets it by all three of the Sheffield players and out into the neutral territory. Brabant leaves it for Carpenter. Carpenter backing off slowly. Drewan watching him for Nottingham. Brabant goes right, Carpenter goes left. Carpenter over the center red line, fires it into the zone. Jason Weaver in there first for Sheffield. Strooch with a good heads up play for Nottingham. Wins the puck and ices it. Levine can't keep it in, and now Scott Allison again. Down the left side, big shot, big save by Willis. It gets behind him, but he's way out of his net and has plenty of time to turn around and pounce on the loose puck. Scott Allison making his way to the bench, sneaking behind the Nottingham defense. All six foot four inches and 250 pounds of him, finding open space out there for Sheffield. Allison with five goals and one assist. Six points in the Benson and Hedges Cup so far. The puck was bouncing, it got behind Levine, and Allison with a lot of room. Big shot, the save there by Willis. Raban on the faceoff. Pulls it back, Smith. Smith looking for Longstaff. Sebastian keeps it in for Sheffield. Too far for Longstaff for Vance right there behind the net. Brabant nicely to Longstaff. Longstaff with a long reach, comes around the net. Close call. Longstaff got his shot off. Weber able to, able to clear the zone. Weaver, Weaver can't go anywhere with it. His night car was right there. Longstaff now looks for Weaver and he finds him. Weaver on the left side with Weber all over him. Weaver showing his muscle, fighting off Randall Weber as he came to the net. Nottingham able to clear. It's Masters, Cassett Masters cuts across. Night car. Gets bumped, but he stays on sides. Masters carries on, gets a weak shot off for Matt, clears his own. We're inside the final minute of the first period. Willis out of his net, lays it off for Levine. Sheffield go for a change. Levine has time to get it up the ice. Drewan on his own. Now he has Tate with him. Tate goes through to the net. The puck is off his skate, and Makosh picks it up. Makosh, it's a four on two for Sheffield. Bobbick, Bobbick with Roberts ahead of him. Bobbick. Ran out of ideas as Burke got back very quickly for Nottingham. Nottingham did a good job of getting back. They were caught momentarily. Bobbick with Burke on him again. Roberts over there for Sheffield, but it's actually Tate. Tate with a nice pass ahead to Drewan. Drewan with great moves, working on Shane McCosh. McCosh has seen it all before. A very good offensive defenseman takes Drewan out of the play. Roberts taken out of the play. Strooch. Carries through to the net. There's going to be a penalty here against Sheffield as Strooch is knocked down to the ice. Roberts battling it out at the corner. The whistle blows. Nottingham are going to have the man advantage, but it's going to be in the second period of play as we run out of time here. A good first period for Sheffield. 1 0 the score after 20 minutes of play. <laughs> Puck is dropped and we're underway. There was a penalty call right at the 20 minute mark of the first period. That penalty is going against Steve Roberts for Sheffield. It's a holding call. So Roberts in the penalty box for Sheffield. Nottingham with a two minute power play here to start this second period. Drewan behind the net. Sebastian all over him. Strooch for Nottingham. Strooch can't get it back to Gillis. It's cut off nicely by number 29, Warren Norris. Norris taking his time, driving the shot into the catching glove of Jordan Willis. Nottingham starting it up the left side. Ashley Tate on his off wing, slams on the brakes. Drewan goes forward. Nice pass by Tate. Strooch's shot just wide of the goal. Gillis on the right point. Gillis to Drewan. Longstaff up front with Brabant on the penalty kill. That shot deflected just wide of the net. Sebastian pokes it as far as Brabant. Brabant, little backhander out 
of the Sheffield territory. Both teams going for a change as Drouin goes back. 55 seconds left on Steve Roberts' penalty for Sheffield. Nottingham trying to get something going. They're outshot, as I said, 19-8 in the first period. And it was all one-way traffic. That shot a long one from Greg Haddon from the blue line. Big glove saved by Mike O'Neill. Greg Haddon trying to get something going on his own. Coming down the ice as he approached the blue line, elected to let it fly. Good shot, good save by O'Neill. Gillis to Tate. Tate looking for Druin. Druin is covered up and it's Sebastian. Off the boards, too far for Longstaff. But Longstaff, through good effort, gets the puck out of the zone and ahead to Brabant. Brabant puts a move on Gillis. Brabant stays after the puck. Weaver drops down low. Cut off nicely and now Nottingham with a quick break. Druin and Strooch. Tate getting into the play. Big shot by Gillis was the intention, but it didn't happen. The crowd loves it. Gillis fanned on the shot. He was nicely set up. Good forechecking by Druan, but Sheffield with Longstaff over the blue line to Weaver. Weaver shot, good pass saved by Willis. Good wide open action here from both teams. As Gillis dumps it in and goes for a change. Short for Sheffield. Short decides to go back the other way, throws it up to Roberts. Roberts fires it out of the zone. It's off Bobbick's glove and Nottingham. Control the puck. Guard, guard with a man all over him, lays it back to Pack. Pack pushes the puck ahead, looking for Haddon. Haddon goes after Bukosh now. Shane Bukosh comes around his own net, heads up the ice for Sheffield. Good pass on the right side, and a good move. As Sheffield now are on the move, Norris with good wheels, passes it ahead for Roberts. Sheffield not happy, offsides is the call. Roberts can't believe he was called for offsides on the play. Great head of steam by Warren Norris. This guy can really turn it up. 15.08 left in this second period. We're still in a 1-0 score as Carpenter has it for Sheffield. Carpenter's shot is a weak one. Levine can't come up with a puck. Metcalf, Metcalf looking around before he even gets to the puck. This guy's got eyes in the back of his head. Allison working on Levine. A couple of big characters going after the puck there. It's laid off. Lavoy sidesteps Metcalf. Weber can't get it out. Carpenter cuts it off nicely, feeds it back. The shot from Vial is deflected away. Levine for Nottingham. Levine starting it up with Allison in his hip pocket. Allison takes the puck off and turns to the net. Allison with a great move and a good save as Willis goes down. Allison found himself right in tight on Willis, who just sprawled out and got a piece of the puck. Good second effort from Scott Allison, though. He was really working the Nottingham defense. Jeff Sebastian. Sebastian lays it off. Metcalf again. Scott Metcalf waits, he's got help. Sebastian, Jeff Sebastian circles, takes a shot just wide. 80, 80 with a puck, short side effort just over the net. Sebastian lays it in a long shift for Levine out there for Nottingham. The whistle blows as the puck ended up on the back of the netting. The faceoff will come outside the Nottingham zone as it was a Sheffield player who put the puck onto the netting. Great stuff from Scott Allison earlier. That long reach paying off. Good save by Willis. Allison on the move. Willis with the save. Strooch pushes the puck on the faceoff and goes after it quickly. Strooch backhands it in. Sebastian will get there first for Sheffield. Sebastian behind his own net. Onto the right side, 80, looking for that bouncing puck. Greg Burke all over him. Gillis, Gillis has Brabant watching him. Strooch lays it off the boards once again. It'll be Sebastian. There's a lot of room out there. Four on four hockey with a player from each team in the penalty box. Patterson in the box for Nottingham. Bobbick in the penalty box for Sheffield. 12 seconds remaining on those penalties. 80 with an open net. What a save by Willis as he sprawls across the ice. Sheffield again. Really going to work on the four check. Brabant with a great heads up pass to 80. What a save by Jordan Willis. Good pass by Brabant. 80's right there, quick shot. But Willis has the final say. Allison 
Allison gets it out. He's at the center red line, taken out by Garden. Allison hammers Garden. Garden's lost his helmet as 80 picks it up for Sheffield. Graham Garden continues on for Nottingham as now 80 takes his man out. Allison back to help out both teams with a number of players along the boards. A couple of elbows being thrown. Kirkham, the referee, is about six feet away from the play. He doesn't have any trouble making the call. Elbows flying from both teams as Graham Garden will go over and find his helmet. Elbowing is the call against Sheffield. Roughing the call is against Nottingham. Elbowing against Scott Allison from Sheffield. And now we've got penalties being called. Kirkham had warned both teams to get set for the face-off. We've got a face-off violation coming against both teams as Masters goes to the penalty box for Nottingham and Bobbitt goes to the penalty box for Sheffield. It's a face-off violation. Now we've got two players from each team sitting in the penalty box. Brent Bobbitt trying to explain to Scott Allison what he feels the linesman should have done, and that's plain and simply drop the puck and let him play hockey. We are still playing with four men out onto the ice for both teams as Strooch fights on the faceoff against Norris. Adam Smith fires it around the boards. Drewan with Sebastian after him. Norris back to help out. He lays it off for Sebastian. Sebastian behind his own net. Jeff Sebastian feeds it off as Norris has got a good head of steam coming up the right side. Sebastian by Druan over the blue line. Works in on pack. Leaves the puck for Weaver. Jason Weaver circling. Jason Weaver with time. We've got another penalty to be called on the play as Mike O'Neill was racing out of the Sheffield zone to try and get an extra stealer on the ice. Simon Kirkham goes to the penalty box. David Strooch slowly making his way across the ice into the penalty box. Referee Kirkham explaining to both teams what's going on. The teams will stay at four on four as David Strooch has received a 10 minute misconduct. That is a personal penalty, and the team does not play shorthanded for that. That's pretty serious for Nottingham, though. They need David Strooch on the ice. Garden pulls it back. Willis has to leave it there as Gillis. Couldn't come up with it cleanly. Burt could get on the end of it. Shot off the crossbar by Allison. Gillis for Nottingham over the blue line. 80 takes him out. Carpenter for Sheffield. Gets it out of the zone. A lot of bumping and shoving off the puck. Referee Kirkham's got to have eyes in the back of his head right now. There's a lot of stuff going on. Kirkham's arm is in the air. Nottingham goaltender Willis heading for the bench. There's going to be a penalty called against Sheffield. The extra attacker is now on the ice for Nottingham as Garden gets hammered into the boards by Metcalf. Allison is in there with Tate. Elbowing is the call going against Sheffield, and it's Steve Carpenter very quickly heading toward the penalty box. They just got done saying that there's a lot going on off the puck as Steve Carpenter is guilty of elbowing and Nottingham will have a very important power play right now. They really do need to get some offense going. They haven't been able to capitalize yet, but they've got a great chance right now. Masters against Longstaff. Longstaff wins the face off. It's back to Smith. Smith fires it deep into Nottingham territory. 41 seconds left on the penalty to Steve Carpenter. 
David Strooch is sitting in the Nottingham penalty box, but he's in there for a 10-minute misconduct that he took earlier in the period. Nottingham with the man advantage for another 29 seconds. Pass in front of the net. That is a great save by Adam Smith, the defenseman, who sprawled out, made the save as the net was wide open. Again, shots blocked, this time by Longstaff. Another shot, that goes just wide in the net from Druan. Gillis keeps it in. Masters down low. Heavy hit along the board from Jeff Sebastian. Now it's Longstaff, one-on-one -on -one with Gillis. Longstaff for the shot, good pad save by Willis. Back to full strength. Steve Carpenter back on the ice for Sheffield. Masters down the ice, over the blue line. On his own, side steps, one check, and now Sheffield can only get as far as Levine. Levine fires it right back into Steeler territory. It's Vial, Dennis Vial, coming up the right side for Sheffield to 80. Paul 80 goes to the net. That shot close. Willis wasn't quite set for that. 80 shot on the move. Now it's Allison with time. Shot. That save is made by Willis. Good stuff from Sheffield. Now that they're back at full strength. Good wide open hockey here as Garden is looking for Leach. That's cut off nicely by Carpenter. His pass is cut off. And it's Lavoy. Lavoy takes a hit from 80 along the boards. Nottingham going back to the net. Had that quick get on the end of the pass as it was just behind him. Levine. Levine loses out to Allison. That's it for the end of the second period. And what a period it was. One nil the score after two periods of play. The Sheffield Steelers on top of the Nottingham Panthers. Welcome back to the third and final period of play here. After two periods of play, shots favoring Sheffield 34 to 18, but there's only one goal in it right now. It's a Sheffield power play goal. Referee Simon Kirkham gets ready to drop the puck and wear off. This is the final 20 minutes of play in this first leg of the B&H semifinal here in Sheffield with the home Sheffield Steelers out in front by a goal. The crowd roared after that face-off as the referee Simon Kirkham fell to the ice. He's all right, but the crowd always enjoy those type of situations. Puck hacked out of the Sheffield zone by Smith. Pass across to Had. Had tips it for Leach. Leach fires it in and is met right at the blue line by Adam Smith. Sebastian dumps it off the boards. Allison chases Pack. Controls the puck for Nottingham. Now he goes down on the ice. Allison can't come up with it, and Gillis has it for Nottingham behind his own net. Gillis comes up the left side of the ice. Nottingham in the dark colors, playing from left to right in this third period. Sheffield, the home team in white, going from right to left as Shane McCosh comes down the left wing. McCosh with Gillis after him. McCosh still with the puck, pass to the side of the net. Willis gets his stick on it, and Leach starts it out for Nottingham. Leach all the way across the ice, a bouncing puck. Druin has to go back. Longstaff all over him. Now Nottingham clear the puck. It's over a stick deep into Sheffield territory. O'Neill will come out of his net and get a touch. Off the boards of Brabant. Gets it out of the Sheffield zone. Greg Burt for Nottingham on the left side. Brabant cuts that pass off. Burt taking off the puck again. Brabant carries on. Shot taken. Willis with the save. Brabant with a rebound. Sheffield out in front on a first period goal by Scott Metcalf. Shane McCosh over to Kale Short. Short leaves it for Weaver. Weaver dumps it in, lets Rick Brabant do the chasing. Brabant, Gillis have a good battle for the puck. Brabant leaves it for Jason Weaver. Weaver now has room, comes in, takes a shot down low. Save is made by Willis as he's got Dave Longstaff all over the front of the net. Now Brabant will try it. His move doesn't quite come off, and now McCosh backs off for Sheffield. Feeds Brabant. Sheffield using the ice very nicely, spreading out, keeping their legs moving away from the puck. Score! Longstaff! 
I was just saying, Sheffield using the ice very nicely, spreading out, setting things up, always finding the open man, and bingo, they find David Longstaff. Longstaff, now with his 10th point in the Benson and Hedges Cup, his third goal of a good effort by Jason Weaver. He goes down, feeds a puck back, great shot into the empty net. What an effort by Jason Weaver. Keeps his concentration, feeds Longstaff, he drills it into the back of the net. At the 3.57 mark of this third period, Sheffield through David Longstaff have a 2-0 lead. Strooch on the faceoff against Brabant. A good battle between those two as Brabant manages to kick the puck back into the corner. Brabant, with Strooch still all over him, fires the puck around the boards. Ryan Gillis goes back for Nottingham, leaves it for Ashley Tate, it bounces over his stick, Makosh can't get it, and Brabant's back there to cover up for Sheffield. Brabant to Kale Short, Short to Weaver. Weaver has to muscle the puck only as far as the blue line as it's sent back in by Druen. Makosh off the boards of Longstaff. Longstaff makes sure he gets the puck out this time as Gillis is all over him, but Longstaff carries on. Good work by David Longstaff. Now he shakes off Greg Burke. The crowd again want a penalty as Burke is holding on to Longstaff. Burke goes after the puck. Longstaff chasing him across the ice. Burke slams on the brakes. Good pass up the middle to Druan, who feeds it over to Tate. Tate taken out of the play very nicely by Brabant. Good defensive work by the Sheffield forwards. Brabant and Longstaff with a good shift. Big hit in the corner there. As Greg Burke picks himself up off the Steve Roberts hit. Now we've got more stuff going on off the puck. A couple of punches there. A couple players squaring up. Warren Norris. And PC Druan having words and a couple of punches at each other. Kirkham is going to try and settle things down right now. We've got good, fast, flowing hockey being played by both teams. Don't get me wrong, it's still very physical. But Kirkham does not want to lose control of this game. Both of these teams have got guys that can really, really wind things up. Simon Kirkham's taking no chances. He's going to cool it off right now. Warren Doris going to the penalty box for Sheffield. Two-minute penalty against Warren Doris. And a two-minute penalty against PC Druan of the Nottingham Panthers. Metcalf on the faceoff. Puck goes back to Vial. Vial right at the center red line. Vial sees Lavoy. Lavoy goes the other way, so Vial feeds Carpenter, who feeds Metcalf, who in turn feeds Vial. Vial throws it into the Nottingham zone. Carpenter steps up from his defensive position and goes on the four check. Nottingham come away now. They have a three on two, but Carpenter hustling back into the play, levels that up. Dykar can't get it, and Metcalf feeds Allison. That pass went off a skate. Masters slides the puck across. This is close checking though. Levine and Allison were all over each other. Neither player giving an inch. Allison has the puck now in Nottingham territory. Levine is all over him. Carpenter in there for Sheffield. Lavoie goes back to cover him and Nykar. Clears the puck away from the front of the net. Smith quickly into the zone. Lavoie. Slow build up for Nottingham. Feeds Tate, who's fresh off the Nottingham bench, but he runs right into Jeff Sebastian. Brabant can't poke that away, and Ashley Tate comes up with it again. Feeds Patterson. Patterson dumps it into Sheffield territory. Jeff Sebastian picks it up with Tate all over him. Adam Smith, Sheffield, fires the puck across on the right side. That's off Rick Brabant's stick. He knows that's a potential icing call, so he races in hard. Oh, that's a heavy collision. Jimmy Pat going back to touch the puck for Nottingham. And Pack and Brabant flying into those end boards. That could have been dangerous. There was no intention from either player now as both teams are getting involved. And a little bit of fisticuffs here after the whistle. Brabant was just hustling for the puck. Pack was going back hard to try and touch it to get the icing call. And it's good to see both of those players back up on their feet. That could have been dangerous. Brabant against Haddon on the faceoff. Haddon wins the draw. It's back to the point for Lavoie. Lavoie's shot is off a leg. Allison goes in. 
can't clear the zone as Levine keeps it in. Levine to Leach. Leach had a little bit of time but couldn't put a handle on the puck and he now gets it back on the right side. Leach trying to feed Had was an awkward one for him as Vial picks up the puck. There's a Nottingham player dumped off the puck. The whistle blows and there's going to be a penalty coming up here. Scott Allison just pulling the skates out from underneath. Greg Haddon on the play, caught by the referee. Nottingham with Greg Burt going over on the left side to Druin. Druin looking for Tate. Strooch. On the left side now, Nottingham. Coming toward the Sheffield zone. Sheffield with the blue line stacked up. It's Strooch going after the puck. Carpenter is there first. Burke taken out of the play by Bial. Now Druen for Nottingham. Druen. Then Strooch. Druen to Strooch. Strooch against the right boards. Another penalty is going to be called here against Sheffield. Kirkham's arm is in the air. The puck is touched by Carpenter. Cross checking is the call. It happened right in front of the Sheffield goal. Dennis Vial is not convinced. Sheffield now with Scott Allison and Dennis Vial in the penalty box. Allison still has a minute and 19 seconds left on his tripping penalty. Vial, two minutes for the cross check in front of his own net. And this is a five on three opportunity for the Nottingham Panthers with 4.32 left in this game. Haddon on the faceoff. That goes out past Pack. Willis comes out of his net. Pack at the blue line. Haddon at the center red line now. Haddon over the blue line. Haddon setting things up. Back to Pack. Pack with Druen. Druen with a shot. That went off Adam Smith. Good hustle by Smith. But Leach is there to control for Nottingham. Back to Druen. Druen to Pack. Druen again with time. Five on three here for Nottingham. They need a goal, they need one quick. Shot upstairs by Druen, over the net. Pack to Druen, Druen with time again. Shot right at the goaltender, O'Neal holds on. O'Neal has not had a lot of action here, and that's a penalty that Nottingham could not afford to take. Nightcar given a penalty right in front of the Sheffield zone, and that's not a good penalty to take. Nottingham desperate to try and get back into this game, and that'll not even things up because Nottingham had a two-man advantage, but that takes away one of those extra bodies, and that hurts. Puck is cleared out of the Sheffield zone. We're on a four-on-three situation here favoring Nottingham for the next 21 seconds as Allison prepares to come out of the box first. Druen looks for Tatey, lets it go by. And Strooch now for Nottingham to Druen. Druen back to Pack. Pack takes his time, waits. Norris making sure that there aren't any openings defensively, and it goes to Druen now to Pack. To Druen. Druen with a shot, scores! Well, Druen has had his number of shots here. In this final few minutes of play, they were tallying up. He wasn't able to get anything past O'Neal, but that shot finds the back of the net. PC Drew and the first goal here for Nottingham. It's a one-timer, and it beats Mike O'Neal. Brabant pulls the puck back to McCosh. McCosh for Sheffield. Works hard to get it as far as center, but Haddon takes it off him and fires it in deep. Short goes back, Haddon's all over him. Now McCosh, Leach watches him. The puck barely makes it out, but Longstaff picks it up in the neutral zone. Longstaff over to Weaver. Weaver feathers it ahead for Brabant. Brabant goes after guard. Haddon slices it around the boards of Levine. Levine's got Weaver all over him. Second effort from Levine, gets the puck over toward Lavoie. Garden gets to it first. Longstaff takes Lavoie out. Longstaff gets hammered out of the play by Garden. 
Then Brabant comes in to work on guard. Weaver directs it toward the net. Lavoy on the left side, works it out, sends it down the ice. Nottingham are tired, they want to change. Icing is the call as Lavoy makes his way onto the bench. A long, hard shift for him. Sheffield supporters trying to urge their Steelers to victory here. The group of Nottingham supporters that have traveled over are making a lot of noise as well, trying to get their Panthers to level this game, but they're running out of time as we're inside 10 seconds. Shane McCosh hits the blue line. Allison's shot goes wide. 2-1, and that's gonna do it. Sheffield, 2-1, to one, the winners of this first leg of the Benson and Hedges Cup semifinal. Sheffield Steelers, two, Nottingham Panthers, one. The first leg of the semifinal is over, but what a thriller it is here in Sheffield. Tonight, the semifinals of the Benson and Hedges Cup from the House of Steel. It's the Sheffield Steelers facing off against the Nottingham Panthers. This is a grudge game over two installments. The first leg of the Benson and Hedges Cup semi-final. Sheffield Steelers against the Nottingham Panthers. Tonight at 10.15 on British Eurosport. Welcome back. There we see David Longstar from the Steelers. He scored their second goal and was voted man of the match. So confirmation of the score now. 2-1 to the Sheffield Steelers. That PC drew in goal giving the Panthers real hope for the second leg in 10 days time. We're looking at the stats. Well, look at that. Steelers 41 shots on goal to 23. Penalty minutes, plenty of that. Plenty of fights going on. Plenty of power plays because of that. Only one power play goal though. And that went to the Steelers. Here's the reaction of both coaches. Well, Mike, you continued your very good uh, record here at home, but it was a tight one, wasn't it? Oh yeah, we knew it would be tight. We, uh, we know that this game was always going to be decided down in Nottingham. It, 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 uh, we, we don't have a ton of firepower. Uh, we worked very hard. We, got a lot, we created a lot of chances. I was happy with our effort. We played very well. We shut them down. Uh, they didn't get a lot of chances. Uh, Willis was very good, but we, uh, you know, we, we're going in there. We can play well on, on the road. We have a great road hockey team. So we'll go in, that one goal is, uh, is not huge, we know that, but I think it's almost good that we're only going with one goal because what we'll do is we'll go in and uh, battle and, and fight and we're a very good road team. So we're, uh, we're not, we're not uh, we haven't got our, our foot in the door yet, but we're, we made a big step tonight. Even one, one goal is a big goal for our team. We can defend one goal very well. You've got to win by two clear goals in 10 days time. Do you realistically think that you can do it? Well, all we have to do is just get one goal then they've got to come up with one. So, I mean, it's no big deal. One goal is nothing right now. You know, one goal, we tie the game up, and uh, then it's anybody's ball game. Well, that, the reaction from both the coaches. Well, I'm joined on the ice once more by Richard and Dale. And Dale, that was pretty tight. Much tighter than most people predicted, wasn't it? A lot more tight than, uh, you know, I would have liked. 2-1 uh, win, though. You know, we've got a one-goal lead going into uh, the second leg of it. And, uh, you know, we'll take what we can get. Do you think those injuries, three of you guys out tonight, made a bit of a difference? You didn't think so before the game, but what about afterwards? I still don't believe that. You know, we have such depth on our club and, uh, you know, it shows on the ice. You know, we just kept coming and coming tonight. You can still hold on, do you think? Definitely. Okay, Richard, uh, these two teams uh, really like each other, don't they? Well, there was a lot of stuff going on off the puck throughout the night, but this great Sheffield supporting force that comes to see these games was trying to point a lot of that out. It was a good, tough game from both teams. Yeah, the Steelers had the perfect start with Scott Metcalf, didn't they? He always seems to come up with these very important goals, and it was the perfect start and a perfect evening for them. Absolutely. Scott Metcalf's an ex NHLer. He works very nicely with Scott Allison. Allison feeding him, Longstaff providing the screen in front of the net, and a great start for Sheffield. Like you said, Chris, a power play goal by Metcalf. He steps around the net. Longstaff gives him that little extra step by taking the Nottingham guy out. And Metcalf has the goal. Yeah, how crucial was that long staff getting in the way of the netminder there? Well, it's very important because it was give and go hockey from Allison to Metcalf. 
Metcalf gets that puck back, and Longstaff just takes the man out and gives that Metcalf that time to come around and get the shot off. Well, Longstaff seemed to be absolutely everywhere on the ice tonight. Voted man of the match with the crucial second goal as well. Well, David Longstaff's got 10 points, three goals, seven assists in the B&H Cup so far, but what a second effort here from Jason Weaver. I think Longstaff will probably be buying Weaver a beer after the game for that one. Weaver showing tremendous strength and determination. Look at his legs going. Lays the puck back, good vision. Longstaff finishing it off nicely. It looked all over then. PC Druin comes up in the last few minutes. Incredible stuff, wasn't it? Well, PC Druin is a great hockey player. He had a lot of shots. He was pelting the shots at Mike O'Neill, and finally he made one pay off. Pack feeding the puck across, one-timer Druin drilling that one into the net. Dale, how did you feel when that goal went in? Well, you know, 2 nothing lead, I was feeling pretty good until that happened, but uh, PC Drew, and he had a lot of chances there late in the game, and uh, you know, you can only stop him so many times. But they're still very much in pole position, aren't they, the Steelers, Richard, and they're still the favourites to go through, if not as comfortably as we originally thought. Well, absolutely. I think that they're a team that's playing very consistent hockey this year, and going 30 or 40 miles down the road isn't going to make a lot of difference. These teams know each other's rinks. Okay, thanks very much for tonight, gentlemen. Right, it's been a you. pleasure working with you. Of course, we're back at the same time. That's 10.15 tomorrow night. It's the first leg of the second semi-final in the BNH Cup between the Newcastle Jesters and the London Knights. But don't forget, next week on Friday the 10th of November, the second leg of tonight's match between the Panthers and the Steelers. That match live at 7.30 and exclusive here on British Eurosport. Then on the following day, we've got more magic for you. It's the second leg of tomorrow night's match. That's the London Knights against the Newcastle Jesters an hour earlier. And that game, yes, also live and exclusive. Well, it didn't quite turn into the nightmare on Ice Street that many predicted for the Panthers tonight. The House of Steel wasn't quite the House of Horrors, was it? Just one goal in it, it's still anybody's semi-final. We'll see you tomorrow. Night-night.